Beyond the Altar. The podcast is back. I'm Tim Burns with Pastor Justin hey. and Pastor Dane from Vinci Lutheran Church, where, first of all, the uh, hymn madness has gone well. I don't know if you realized or intended it to be so divisive among Ooh. the congregation, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, some people have bad opinions. And <laughs> some choices are real hard, too. Yeah. Yeah. For opinions. Yeah. yeah. Didn't somebody say, I don't care which one you say one, and when the congregation starts singing it, I'm going to sing the other one loudly. Exactly. Yeah. Right. No, we've heard that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> heard a yep. lot of people say it's just like, you know, voting uh, in presidential elections. Both choices are so good. I don't know who to pick. <laughs> well, that's exactly well, what that's, I think. That yeah. is not the Have theme not heard of that. this podcast today. <laughs> By the next time we do this, we'll know who the grand Ooh, champion will. is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll be pretty good. Now, the last time I played, I pulled into the church parking lot way early even almost earlier than the pastors, just saying. I guess yeah. I need more preparation. It's the kind of guy you are. <laughs> yeah. Dedicated. <laughs> but as I came up the street, I, I saw, oh, look at that man and a cute little daughter walking down the sidewalk here. And it was you oh. and your daughter. She is pretty cute. She yeah. is. Yeah. Not so much you. But Not so much know. me. <laughs> How old is she? Uh, let me see. I think that was Brooklyn. So she's eight. She'll be nine later this month. Oh, nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I'm pausing. I, I would have thought, do you have like a I do four-year-old? Have, I do have a, a six-year-old daughter who's about to be seven and a three-year-old son that will be four this summer. Okay, so, yeah. three. And uh, Dane? I got a nine and 12-year-old, so right in the thick of it. Okay, 12 year old's your daughter. I know yep. she's up there doing video while yep. I'm doing sound on Wednesday nights. And then nine? Nine-year-old boy. Boy. So, yep. Okay, now this is sort of Mother's Day-ish mm-hmm. time, but since you aren't mothers. Yep. Been called one before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it just made me think, though, this is coming off of a prom night for a lot of uh, mm. families. And certainly by now, I think most of the proms will have happened. And I, I can't help but wonder if you're thinking now ahead, not mm. quite as far for you, yeah. about such things as boys and dating and proms and dances is that, yeah that on your mind uh yeah like when my daughter turns 30 uh <laughs> she should be ready and uh i'll be ready uh, at that uh, point too so uh-huh. um yeah you cling to that yeah no thought. probably not happening so yeah. i heard prom costs about a thousand dollars all in so i hope you're saving away yeah i hope it. my daughter's saving away for sure so. oh there you go yeah. well the prom proposals themselves because you got to get those on yeah. social media yeah I know mm-hmm. a guy who has a hot air balloon in case either of you want to you know, oh. make sure that... You got a balloon guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> it seems it's, it's gotten a little overboard Over the top. with just yeah. the promposals. Yeah. I've got one at least. I was talking to Maggie and I were out driving. She's my six-year-old, and we saw a like, big fancy sports car that clearly was going to prom, mm-hmm. you know, and so I said something to her about it, and we started talking. I was like, so what do you want to do? Are you going to prom? Yes, with my boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend? Not yet, which was a good, that was good news yeah. for a six-year-old, but uh, I was like, well, where are you going to, what kind of dress do you want? I don't know. Where are you going to go to eat? McDonald's. So oh, I'll yeah. save some money on the McDonald's piece. I think piece. that sounds reasonable. Oh, for yeah. For sure. Yeah. Now, what is that for real going to look like, uh, and especially uh, the preacher's daughters get asked to prom, the dress and uh, modesty, yeah. after prom activities. If prom is on a Saturday night, Dad, can I skip church on Sunday morning? We're going to be out all night. Well, I don't think you're going to be out all night, is what I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's the beauty at Benji. We have a Wednesday service. There you so, go, yeah. Wednesdays. We're already in that sometimes Sunday, sometimes Wednesday. You can pivot. Um, I won't be waiting up for her, that's what I'll say. The yeah. dress? Are we going to be wearing like a turtleneck underneath of a, of a <laughs> gown? Or? I don't think I'm going to have a whole lot of say in that one. Yeah, so. right. No, that's interesting. I think that would be my answer too, right? Yeah. Like I'm not sure that that's my choice to make for yeah. them. Mm-hmm. So. I think in our household, we try really hard to equip the kids to make good decisions. And so I, I think my daughter will be making a good decision when it comes to those things. Mm-hmm. She's Support pretty cool. Because yeah. I think one of the first times I was running sound on Wednesday night and she was beside me, 
uh, I think it was her birthday in the last couple of months. Yeah, yeah. January. Yep. She said it was her birthday. Yeah. I asked how old she was, and she said, well, how old are you? I said, well, <laughs> I'm about to turn 60. And she goes, yeah. what? You don't look <laughs> no, 60. No. I like this girl. Yeah, yeah. she's pretty good. Yeah, she, she knows wise. what to say. She says I look old, though, so I don't know how oh. to take that. But, mm-hmm. you know, she Tim probably thinks look I look you. 60. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it the hair? I think I it's the think hair. So. Yeah. Big baldy here. I'm thinking of Footloose. You know that whole thing. Yeah. yeah. They weren't allowed Ooh. to dance. I've never seen it. Oh, my gosh. Well, you should. Before, yeah. Yeah. before any of your children go to prom, right. you should watch Footloose. Because it was a very conservative community yep. that didn't allow dancing. And they just wanted to dance and express themselves. And they actually they went to a, like a town meeting. And the Kevin Bacon character, the lead, was uh, quoting scripture yep. to mm. support being able to dance. Now, the Lutheran tradition, not quite that strict. Or it highly. depends on the church, probably. I, yeah. I heard stories of my dad growing up in a household where you better not be caught with cards because oh. you mm-hmm. get in trouble with cards. dad. Or, mm-hmm. um, but I think I remember my German grandpa, Norwegian grandma, like they had to sort this out because there was a lot of that. Ah, you can't do this, but you can do that. And I think things have mellowed out quite a bit. Yeah. Did you go to prom? I actually did not go to prom. Oh. Uh, I was not cool enough to go to prom, <laughs> at least with the girls that I would want to yeah. go to prom oh. with. So I don't know. It seemed like a big, big to do over things I'd rather not do, mostly because I don't like dancing. So, I mean, I was like, I don't need to go. He didn't even have a dance at his wedding. No, I did not. I did not. So, but not because of being like thinking there being anything inappropriate with it. I do think you get this kind of weird thing with Lutheranism where, I mean, the theology and the, the ideas and what we believe about God and what we read in the scripture to be very freeing. Right. So there'd be a lot of freedom to do those things. But then especially in, you know, areas like Minnesota, like you get that Scandinavian tradition, which is just let's tone it down a little bit. We don't need to get all fancy with these dances. And is it the gyrations? My mom. (laughs) Oh, when Elvis would move his hips. Tim's moving right now. My dad was so upset. But wouldn't make a joyful noise sort of uh, translate to make a joyful move? One would think. Must a joyful move. Uh Uh-huh. Can we get to that? answer in the Bible. Yeah. No, I'm in. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know where that comes from, but I feel like it's like our theme, right? Like we we can't be anyone who we aren't, and why why would you hide this part of yourself? So mm-hmm. when uh, I remember my grandma's sister uh, had died, and we were putting stuff together for her funeral, uh, and she had left specific instructions to like all of her kids that like you can't show any pictures of me with alcohol or cigarettes. And all I remember of my uh, great aunt Ruth was like, there were bourbons every day starting at four o'clock until the end of the evening. And she smoked a ton. And so like, I'm like, where do you find pictures of her without smoking or drinking? So it's like back then they, they hid that part of themselves from church and they didn't even want church to know that that existed. Um, So, yeah. I remember distinctly, I was in junior high and whatever committee was going to have a junior high dance on the Friday before Easter. Otherwise, it was a good Friday. Yeah. Yeah. My mom said, you will not be attending a dance (laughs) on Good Friday. I think she might have even called somebody. Yeah, I bet. The dance did not happen. Dancing on Jesus' grave today, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that stuck with me uh, today. Certainly not on Good Friday. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Did you call the school and tell them there will no, be no dancing on Good Friday? When I was looking up some of this on the prom topic, yep. I found a church, and I don't need to say which one, it's not around here, that uh, listed 10 reasons a Christian doesn't belong at a prom. Hmm. Oh. And a few that I wrote down, lascivi- lasciviousness. lasciviousness. Close enough. Like yeah, pronunciation yeah, yeah. key right, yeah. that goes with that? No. Yeah. No. Hmm. Sanctification. Oh. And here's the one. If Jesus were to return while you're at the prom, is that where you want to be when Jesus returns? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, depends I'm, on the girl. I'm pretty confident he'd jump in the party and start dancing. Yeah. yeah. 
He was the one who people complained about eating with tax collectors and sinners and drinking. And, and I think Jesus was pretty cool. I do think the after prom has been a great thing where, all right, you're coming after the dance and after all of that, you're staying in, you have chances to win like TVs and yeah. cash and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, I will say, I think that my generation is the reason there's after prom. Yeah. <laughs> gonna, yeah. I'm not going to get into detail. Maybe your yeah. mom could come and talk to the podcast listeners about that generation. <laughs> How dare you record this podcast about dancing? Uh-huh. <laughs> I just want to know what Tim was doing after prom. All right. Yeah. Uh, I remember, first of all, the proms I went to were both just friends who were girls. There was sure. no, the one year I had a friend, a girlfriend who was not old enough at the, to go. Sure. They had Scandal. rules against freshmen. They going. still have those rules. Do they? Yeah. I think yeah. so. Okay. So uh, they were just friends. But there was a, a drive-in and then a breakfast at another friend's house till all hours. Bless yeah. the parents of that household. Oh, man. Um, I don't think there was any other lascivious activity yeah. <laughs> going on. How about also then the, the, the pressures of things, when I, I think especially of your daughter at 12, yeah. clothes to phones, the yeah. phones. Like if you don't have yeah. a certain telephone yeah. while doing sound for a Wednesday night and your daughter was yeah. doing camera, she said uh, something about her dog. You have a dog? Yeah. Yep. I said, oh, I'd like beagle. to see it. Yeah. And she got out her phone, uh, a flip phone. Uh-huh. And she was immediately apologetic. Oh, I got this dumb old flip phone. Sorry for the quality's yeah. not gonna. And that that kind of hit me. Like I didn't care, of course. Yeah. But uh, she obviously is in a place where if she brings out that phone, like she has to apologize yeah. for it. Really, for her parents, yeah. not the phone. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. If she came to you and said. Dad, I'm almost 13. Can I get a smartphone? The answer would be no. no. But uh, Lucky you got that flip phone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She forgets her phone half the days. Mm. And I, uh, I do see lots of kids when I go pick her up at school, like sitting there with their phone and kind of looking down the entire time they're walking out of school. Yeah. I think there's the pros and cons of this, right? Like we need to figure out how to use technology well. but. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has nothing to do in my mind with, um, you know, I don't trust her, but I think there's a level at which we are ready for that. And um, in my my mind, I'm an old codger this way. Like, there's no reason for a middle schooler to have a phone. Their friends have one. So, <laughs> Have you had that discussion? Like, we have. When are we going to allow a phone? Oh, my gosh. Phone? Yeah. I mean, years ago, you know, probably from, like, when my oldest was in first grade, she was already asking about when do I get a phone you know, we say things like 30, but of course we don't mean that, yeah. you know, and so that does become, you know, kind of a, a tough conversation, I think, for parents to have with kids and know what the right answer is. And it's probably a lot of times based on the uniquenesses of the family and the kid and comes with pros and cons. Like I can remember uh, a friend when I was living down in Georgia that found out, you know, that their teenage daughter wasn't where she was supposed to be because they could track her phone. Mm. And, you know, so... There's some nice things for parents there, too. Yeah. And, yeah. you know. What does the Bible say about trust? <laughs> yeah. Trust. It's in the <laughs> trust in the Lord, not your 12-year-old <laughs> daughter. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Here's maybe some good news for parents struggling over the phone issue and, and wh- how good the phone is. Dumb phones, the flip phones, yeah. are coming back Ooh. in favor. Like adults, Thank millennials, Lord. they're like, I want the good old flip phone. Yep. Yeah. So maybe that'll solve the yeah. issue by the time. Can you still track your kid on the dumb phone? I don't think so. No, oh, maybe. But you can get one of those little dog tags. Yeah. Yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. On her <laughs> right on the back. You'll be good. Just put it right in there. Yeah. Right and I do, like, it's not just daughters, right? Like, I think a lot of, of these questions work both ways yeah. for, you know, male, for female sure. children. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'd have the same concerns about my son. And I think when it comes to things like attire like in my own personal opinion too like i think it's not like i'm treating my daughters differently than i would my son um i think sometimes that old curmudgeon way you know there were different standards for girls than there were for for boys absolutely 
Dumb Wireless. That's the name of the company. Oh. Hmm. Check. I don't know what their stock name is, yeah. what the ticker name is, but they sold $68,000 worth of dumb phones last month. That's up from just 5000 in March of 2023. So, All right. Go dumb phone. We're that's on the right track. Our free tip on the podcast today. Yeah. Nice. Follow Dumb Wireless. <laughs> Make your life easier no matter what are age you are. Are they a new sponsor? I'm just checking. Dumb Wireless <laughs> brings you beyond the altar. I had somebody in the choir. Say, I heard you're doing a podcast. How do we find it? Mm. Said, on oh. Facebook. Yeah. I'm not on Facebook. On YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. Huh. This could have been the same person that talked to me this Sunday, too, and I m- might have made promises about trying to get it on our website. Ah, yeah. So, okay. Wow. Well, yeah. Maybe. Or if you have a smartphone, you could just play it for that person whenever yeah. they're asking for Can it. Can you play it on a dumb phone? <laughs> I'm hmm. guessing now. You could you? call you yeah. could call someone with a smartphone and then they could play it over the phone call. I yes. Think. Yes. That'll work. Give it a like, a share. If it's a YouTube, subscribe so that you know when the next one comes out. Beyond the altar. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's right. Day. Every day is Mother's Day.